This presentation has been put together by Claire Adenay, Peter Wetlock, Jake Dean, Neha Sabudi, and Sam Hansen, and will be presented to you by Sam Hansen. Hello board members, we have been putting together some investment ideas and concerns for our possible investment into China. I will talk about cultural differences from the U.S., how foreign investors are treated in China, and I will also be looking at the different structures in China that may be able to help us start our business and that could also impede the starting pr up process there. The Hofstede cult cultural score for China shows us that we have a few areas of concern when bringing products to market there. China accepts power differences, such as inequality between classes, and as such, we will have to sell products there that target the whole group rather than individual classes of people. They don't focus on individualism and instead have more of a group mentality that relies on doing what is best for the group. This is something that we will have to account for when we try to market products there, as this group mentality will play a big role in how marketing campaigns will be portrayed and how they will come across to the Chinese people. Masculinity is a key part of their society. They focus heavily on work, and being successful in work and in society is a key factor to the Chinese people. There is much less focus given to free time than in the U.S. and in following their own pursuits. Instead, they focus more on work and how their work can contribute to the greater good. We will want to market products that are useful in everyday life and that can help making, make working more efficient there. China has a restrained society, and they do not like to indulge in wasteful products or items. This means we will need to bring products to market that will fulfill direct needs that they can relate to. Foreign direct investment in China is extremely important to the country, and as the second largest FDI recipient in the world, China has implemented several different incentives that we may be able to take advantage of as we are investing there. Tax cuts are regularly used to spur growth in China, and if they are in place when we are setting up our business there, we will be able to benefit greatly from them. So this is one of the concerns we may want to look into as we go about setting up our products in the area. We'll also have to look for ways to use the 12th five-year plan, free trade zones, and company and registration amendments. China's current political variables include the coronavirus outbreak that has resulted in a travel ban to the area, and that will remain in place until the danger can be assessed and addressed by the country. This could infect our investment in the country by making setup of the product lines extremely difficult, and it'll be hard to implement and oversee the company in the area because of the travel ban. One of the areas that could help us with establishing product lines in China is that the U.S.-China trade deal has required China to increase imports from the U.S. by $200 billion, and they have also required China to strengthen the intellectual property rights of companies there so that other companies cannot copycat products in the area as easily. China is ranked 100th in the most free countries in the world list. Looking at the highs and lows between investment and financial freedom versus judicial effectiveness, we can gather that the controlling government of China enforces strict systems to ensure stability in the region. China looks out for themselves regularly, and if we exercise caution and don't overstep cultural norms, China will take care of us as we try to take care of them. China also ranks highly in the ease of doing business scale, and it's 31st in the world for starting a business in the country. This is above most of East Asia, and it also has a strong infrastructure contract enforcement and equal opportunity for men and women in the country. The hardest hurdle for us to be able to overcome 
will be the high tax rates that China places on imports and other product sales in the region. The tariffs in China are based off the standard that the World Trade Organization has set, but they have several free trade agreements with other countries in the area and offer free imports from these countries. Sadly, the U.S. is not one of these countries, but workarounds may be possible if costs ever become too high with tax rates or with import costs into China. China's GNI, or Gross National Income, is constantly rising. This shows that the value of money there stays consistent and the people there are morning, earning more money year over year and this opens them up to being one of the biggest markets in the current developing world. And if we look at the growth rate for the economy, we see that it has been going down which means the economic growth has slowed down in the area, but according to the five-year trends we can see that it has started to level off and is no longer dropping as steeply as in previous years. This shows that China can be a good investment option and that bringing new products into the market that are needed can be very profitable. The people of China are also starting to have more disposable income, which means they will start demanding new products to help fulfill their daily needs and wants, opening them up as one of the most prominent developing markets in the world. The value of money there remains generally consistent, and while it does rise and fall occasionally, it stays within a fairly narrow margin and it has showed stability over the past five years that means that our buying and selling power should hold relatively consistent without too extreme a measure needing to be put in place to protect ourselves from the fluctuation of the value of the currency in the area. The importance of the exchange rate for us is that a weaker yuan lowers costs for us as a business, but it also means that it will be more worthwhile for us to manufacture our products in China. A stronger yuan allows for better purchasing power with the local currency. The first product that we have in mind is a backpack air filter that does not require electronics to help increase the air quality. This will allow for an efficient and cost-effective method that offers high air quality filtration to the general Chinese population by not having extreme costs that are brought about by electronics that not only increase the initial buying costs but also increase maintenance costs over time. The goal behind this mask is to replace the cloth masks that are currently in place and typically being used by the Chinese population by offering something that has a higher buy-in cost but a similar maintenance cost over time. This will help the population be able to adapt the filters in mass and will offer the Chinese people a higher quality air filtration system that will help them perform better at their jobs and live longer and healthier lives throughout the years. Our next product is a fluoride-free toothpaste that would be flavored to the taste of the Chinese market and would be made out of all natural ingredients and would be more likely to promote healthy teeth and gums without using fluoride or other harmful chemicals. This will look to fulfill the market's drive for a healthy option that they can enjoy and that will promote a healthy lifestyle through all natural ingredients. The collapsible grocery cart is a practical item that will allow the Chinese shoppers to save money on bags and save space by being able to carry all of their purchases on one cart instead of trying to carry it in multiple bags, bags that are spread across their arms. When collapsed, it can fit in a backpack but boast ample storage space when it is deployed. The cart will be easy to carry when not in use and will make transporting items when shopping much easier to handle and carry over long distances without making the user wary or tired. 
And one of the other great benefits of the collapsible grocery cart is that the money that they save by not having to purchase bags as they are shopping will allow them to be able to purchase more items, which may even include our backpack air filter or fluoride free toothpaste as options that they may like.